Hello and welcome to part four of my mini pronunciation course. My name is Julian and I am your teacher. So we've looked at vowel sounds, we've looked at consonant sounds. So what else is there to learn in pronunciation? Well, you may know that there are also many other really important aspects of pronunciation apart from those things. We have things like word stress, sentence stress, connected speech and intonation. And these will all help you sound clearer and more like a native. So today in this lesson, we're going to focus on word stress. What is stress? Stress basically means that we make a syllable sound clearer. What's a syllable, you may ask? Well, we can break any word down into an amount of syllables. So if we take a word like word, it only has one syllable, word. Um, and when a word has one syllable, there's no stress. But if a word has two syllables, like table, tay and ball, we need to decide where to put the stress. Where do you think we put the stress in the word table? First or second syllable? We put it on the first syllable. There's a reason why, I'll tell you in a minute. So we say table. We put the stress on the first one, table. You try it. So what am I actually doing when I stress a syllable, what am I doing to make that sound clearer? Well, my voice is getting a bit louder, table. My voice is also going a bit higher in pitch, table, it's going up. And I'm also making that sound a little bit longer, table. So we tend not to pronounce the syllable sounds particularly clearly or the non-stressed syllables. Okay, so when it comes to stress, there are what we call patterns rather than rules that we follow. That's because, as you probably know in English, it's very difficult to find hard, fast rules or 100% rules. So that's why in stress we talk about patterns. So the pattern I'm going to teach you today refers to two syllable words. So when a word has two syllables and it's a noun, like table, we usually put the stress on the first syllable. However, when the word is a verb and it's two syllables, we usually put the stress on the second syllable. So we're going to look at some words now, which are very flexible words because they can be either nouns or verbs depending on how we say them, where we put the stress. Okay, so if we look at the first one, if we take this word, how do you think we say this word? Well, we can say it two ways. We can say it as a noun, which is object. Notice the stress is on the first syllable because it's a two syllable noun, object. But if we want to use it as a verb, we can say object. I object to that decision, object. So notice how my voice goes up and I emphasize the second syllable more when it's a verb, object. So we have object and object. You have a go at saying that. So what about this word? Where do you think we put the stress? Well, if it's a noun, we would say a record. I bought a new record. But if it's a verb, the stress moves to the second syllable we say record. You need to record yourself speaking. Okay, practice saying that record and record. Okay, let's try one more. We've got present, which is a noun. I bought you a lovely present. And as a verb, you've guessed it, it will be present. I'm going to present an award, present. So you practice saying that present, 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 present. Brilliant, you're doing really well. So now I'm gonna give you two final tips on how you can improve your pronunciation even further. If you are a professional who needs English for work, maybe you use it to speak to colleagues or clients, maybe you teach English. If you want to be more confident, 
if you want to be clearer, if you want to sound more like a native and know that you're pronouncing all the sounds and all the words correctly, then I have made the perfect course for you. It's called masterpronunciation.com. There's a link in the email and in it, I've included everything you need to know about pronunciation. We'll go into detail about how to produce all the sounds and we'll also look at all the other important aspects of pronunciation, like word stress, sentence stress, intonation and connected speech. There are quizzes, there is audio as well as text. And I would also like to think that it's reasonably priced. If you'd like to see a sample lesson to understand what the course looks like, there is a link in the email. And another important tip that I'm gonna give you is that you need to get feedback on your speaking. And you should get feedback from a professional, from a qualified English teacher. And that's why I offer a pronunciation analysis report. So you can find that on masterpronunciation.com. How does it work? Well, you simply record yourself speaking. I will listen to it very carefully and then I will provide a report to you based on how you speak and I will tell you the specific sounds that you're having difficulty with and I'll tell you what you need to do to improve. Well, I'm afraid we've come to the end now. I really hope you've enjoyed and learnt a lot from this mini pronunciation course. I've really enjoyed making it for you and I really look forward to seeing you again on another course sometime soon. Take care of yourselves and it's bye-bye for now. Thank you.